Hello, and welcome back. This video is about making explosions with grenades. First, we will start by creating a Niagara system. This will be a uh, new system from selected emitters. I'll scroll down a bit and choose Omnidirectional Burst. Call this P underscore explosion. This will be a very simple particle system. There are many videos on how to create particle systems and explosions and whatnot. I'm going to shorten the lifetime a bit. Change the color. I'll just make it red because it's an explosion. And the sprite size, make it a little bigger. I want to also turn off gravity and color scale. Next, I will create an actor. AP explosion. This will simply have a Niagara particle system component. I'll just set that as the root and set the system to the one just created. I'll then modify the BP grenade created for the showing arc video. We don't need both a collision and a sphere. We can just Make the sphere the root and get rid of the collision. To go to the collision section, switch this to custom. It's going to block everything except projectile, and it will be a projectile type. We also want to switch this. Should bounce. And we're going to turn the friction up. To 0.5. Going to add a few variables. Is explode on hit and fuse timer. Compile so I can edit them. Set the fuse timer default to two. I want them both to be instance editable and expose on spawn. I'm going to then add an explode function. This will spawn actor. I'll choose the BP explosion just created. We want this at the actor location. And then we can also play a sound at that location. The starter content has a few explosion sounds. And I'm going to drop the volume here down to 0.2. This will be at the actor location. Lastly, I want to destroy the grenade. And then in the event graph, we want a, an event hit. Hold B, click. If explode on hit is set, then we just call explode. For the fuse timer, we can call set timer by function name. 
function name is explode. And the timer is this variable. So you can see it's not hitting, a, or it's not exploding on contact. Bounce it around, and then two seconds later it explodes. If we go into GA Fire Grenade. We now have these variables, expose on spawn. Let's set that to true. And now when it hits something, explodes on contact. So that's fun and all, but uh, what if we want cluster grenades? We can go back in here, we'll create another two variables, is cluster. and explosion scale. This cluster is a float. Sorry, that's backwards. This cluster is a boolean. Explosion scale is a float. We want both of these to also be exposed on spawn. So then in explode, we're going to create and call another function. Call this spawn cluster. And that just gets called at the beginning of explode. I also want to, for the explosion, I want to then use the explosion scale. So that the cluster versions uh, end up smaller. So in spawn cluster. This gets called every time. We could put the branch before calling it, but just decided to put it in here for ease of uh, explanation. So make sure that it's true. I'm going to add a for loop. Just going to have four clusters created. So that'll be from zero to three inclusive. And that's also going to spawn actor, creating a BP grenade again. The spawn location will again be get actor location. And to make them go off in uh, random directions, we're going to use random unit vector cone in degrees, or in cone in degrees. We want this facing straight up, and it'll just be at, uh, let's put it at 80 degrees. So that'll shoot upwards and uh, also horizontally. We can drag this right into the rotator and it'll give us the rotation from X vector. We can set in the same, pass in the same fuse timer that we're using. And use the explosion scale multiplied by some smaller value, 0.25, for the explosion. Lastly, we do not want the grenade itself to go as fast as the original. So we can get the projectile movement component and set both the initial and max speeds to 500.
Uh, we also need to turn on the is cluster if we want to see that. Did not set the initial explosion scale. There we go. So we throw out the grenade, and when it hits, it spawns the four smaller grenades that are using the fuse timer to blow up. If we wanted them all to explode on contact, we can just set that value also by dragging in the, the variable and setting that here. To apply damage, you would want to do that in the explode function. You can just add a call to sphere overlap actors, iterate through the array, and then use the built-in system or the game playability system, both of which you can refer to previous videos, which I've linked in the description. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video and you would like to see more, you know what to do. If you have suggestions on future content or abilities you would like to see, let me know down below.